Hello everyone. I hope I am clearly visible and audible to all of you. So uh, today is a quiz session uh, based on the unit eight, ecology and environment. And basically, this quiz consists of the first chapter of ecology and environment. So the first chapter belongs to organ organisms and population. So we will be having uh, some uh, fifty. Uh, we will be discussing about some fifty to eighty MCQs on that. That will be very beneficial from your need point of view. Some of them are previously asked questions, and some are basically the questions that we can expect. So uh, let me take you through what is an academy. So uh, uh, I am Jalani Saptarishi, and I am going to be teaching biology for class twelve. And uh, an academy has come up with a new feature called as iconic subscription. So, what will uh, what is the benefit of the subscription? Is that you will get a personal mentor who will give you one to one guidance. They will plan for you. They will help you and strategize. And uh, for each one, uh, there will be a customized plan according to your strength and weakness. Along with that, you will have a doubt, a uh, live doubt solution. So whatever doubts you face, you can clear it uh, live. And, uh, this will be completely customized according to your plan, and all your queries will be answered. Then you will have a parent connect, uh, wherein uh, the progress of yours will be discussed with your parents, so that. Uh, it's like a self evaluation and you will know where you stand and you will get all the benefits of plus so let me take you through now what is the plus subscription so the plus subscription includes daily live classes so all these classes will be conducted on a daily basis and it will be live these uh, sessions are very uh, interactive you will have doubt clearing sessions you will have question answer polls which makes which makes it very interesting along with that you will have live tests and Quizzes. So this is again very much integral for your uh, self evaluation. You will have structured courses which are very much in line with the syllabus. So with an academy, you can crack any examination you wish to crack, and we will provide you complete syllabus coverage. So if you are preparing for an examination like NEET, and if you use my code, that doesn't mean that you will uh, get access only to the, to the contents of biology. It means that you will get access to all the contents that are required to crack your NEET examination. That is physics, chemistry, biology. All right, and you will have unlimited access to all these uh, contents. You can watch it at your ease, your comfort, at your device. So uh, we have daily live classes, and you will prepare, and you will be on board with the top educators of India. Uh, so it is at your comfort, your ease. At this time, this is the most beneficial. Just sit back at home and make the most out of this time. So uh, we offer you a very comprehensive syllabus, and all you have to do is go and download the An Academy Learning application. Once you have downloaded it, install it and get the subscription. And if you want to connect with us directly, you can do it through the Telegram application. The link is provided in the description box below. Please uh, check the description box for the Telegram link. And uh, what is the difference or what are the benefits of the iconic over plus? So uh, in both of these, you will be having uh, uh, you'll be on board with the top educators. You will have interactive live classes and live tests conducted in both, and there will be a creative corner in both of them. And in iconic, you will have a personal mentor who will help you strategize. You will have live one-to-one -one doubt clearing sessions. Uh, there will be a parental connect wherein your progress will be discussed with your parents, and you will be having a study planner so that uh, again uh, to help you strategize well and crack your examination. So uh, this is uh, the duration and the fee for your plus so i recommend you mostly 12 month plan because to crack an examination like neat you will at least need 12 month in hand this is very economical 12 month is just for 15000 rupees and now if you use my code that is janani so if you use this code you can avail an extra 10% off in your fee so all this now has an extra 10% off now the plus subscription for 12 months you will avail it in only 13500 rupees this is making it more economical so now coming to the uh, iconic 
Uh, so this is your plan for the iconic one for your 12, class 12. So for 12 months, uh, you, you need to pay 28,000. This is the fee. And now when you use my code, that is Janani. All right, if you use this code, again, you will be getting an off. All right, so now the 12 month plan for iconic is just available for 25,200 rupees. So uh, let's begin, let's crack it. And uh, let us begin with the objective type questions of organism and population. That is the first chapter in your unit ecology. Hi, Nitesh. Hi, Dream On. Thank you so much, Nitesh. So, the term ecology was introduced by a very foundation and a basically important question, I would say. Uh, it is asked uh, many times. So, uh, the term ecology was coined by Ernst Haeckel. All right. So, he is also called the father of ecology. So, uh, yes, this is important from your objective as well as subjective point of view. The, okay. the study of interaction between abiotic and abiotic factors of environment is called. So this is the definition basically of your ecology. Uh, ecology is basically all the uh, interaction between the biotic factors and the abiotic factors. The unit of land containing mosaic of ecosystems surrounded by natural boundaries is. So this is again a typical NCRT definition, all right? You should know what to word. Community, landscape, population or environment. So this definition is that of a landscape. So this is as it is, it is taken from the NCRT. You should be very much thorough with all, with all the definitions of this chapter. So. Uh, the unit of land containing the mosaic of ecosystem landscape matlab basically ek part hota hai ecosystem ka which has natural boundaries or you can say surrounded by biotic and abiotic factors so it is the landscape uh, that is a part of that ecosystem a particular part which has natural boundary okay? an organism or organisms maintained in homeostasis with environment because of this type of adjustment with the environment. Hi Bharat, how are you? Welcome. <coughs> so, this uh, uh, in this question, it is asked that an organism which will try to maintain homeostasis with environment and what are factors will it adjust? Morphological, physiological, behavioral, all, all of these. So, to maintain homeostasis, uh, what all do you need to use this? You'll need to adjust all these three uh, points because, yes, these are the three integral points that is uh, needed to get in balance with the environment. All right. So the answer will be all of the above. The next level after community is the ecological hierarchy is. Ecological hierarchy is very, very important. All right. You need to uh, know the order. A ek uh cell se leke pure biome tak ka ek order de kawa eleven stages ka. Yeah mina apne lecture me discuss kya wa other uh kisi ne miss kya to wa ja ke dek sakte. So apka batana ki community ka next hierarchy concept. Okay, Bharat, yes, I'm tired. Fine. So biome, population, ecosystem, or ecosphere. So, what comes after a community is your ecosystem. Sabse, uh, is char option mein sabse pehle aega population. Population se banta hai community. Thik hai? Community ke baad aata hai ecos ecosystem. Ecosystem banata hai ecosphere. And the ecosphere makes the entire bio. Fine. So, functional unit of the biosphere is. This is again an additive definition and also uh, taken from the ecological hierarchy. Functional unit of biosphere, all right? Population, community, species or ecosystem. It is your ecosystem, all right? Biosphere ka sabse basic unit kya hota hai? Ecosystem. Hum pure chapter isi ke baare mein humne discuss kiya hua. So, 
a mosaic of ecosystems is called we just discussed a mosaic that means a part of the ecosystem it is your landscape uh, hi rajendra saini how are you good evening a large community of plants and animals that occupy a vast region is तो यहाँ पे क्या बोल रहे हैं कि एक लार्ज स्ट्रेच या एक लार्ज कम्युनिटी कम्युनिटी को हम किससे रिलेट करते हैं पॉपुलेशन से ठीक है विच ऑक्यूपाइज अ लार्ज रीजन इज बायोस्फीयर इकोस्फीयर बायो एंड लैंडस्केप ये वापस से एक इकोलॉजिकल हायर का क्वेश्चन है इसका आंसर है बायो ऑल राइट बिकॉज देर इज अ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स एंड ऑक्यूपाइंग अ वास्ट रीजन so this is the uh, this is the definition of my bio fine soil and soil properties influencing the life of organisms are called theek hai uh kaun se properties of soil determine karte hain ki jo bhi organism soil mein hai wo uh, unke life uh, ko jo bhi affect karenge edific factors topography climate or environment तो जो भी सॉइल के रिलेटेड जितने भी फैक्टर्स होते हैं लाइक इट कैन बी योर पी एच इट कैन बी दॉइल क्वालिटी ऑल ऑफ देम इज कैटेगराइज अंडर इडेफिक फैक्टर्स नीच रेफर्स टू अगेन अ डेफिनेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस चैप्टर डेफिनेशन आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो नीच रेफर्स टू अ फंक्शनल रोल ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म इन दी हैबिटाइट प्रोफेशन ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म इन दी हैबिटाइट relational position of species in the ecosystem with others and all of these so jaise ki niche ka definition hi hota hai ki usko sabse zyada hum kya kehte hain ek functional role hoti hai jo jo bhi organism ho ki uska part ya uska role towards the environment and kyunki functional role hai to hum ise profession se bhi relate karte hain to jaise ek example diya tha ki a profession of uh, me is a teacher or an educator to teach you all right so similarly so i am playing a role of a teacher so similarly niche is a uh, something that will have a role to play towards the environment so again functional role profession relational position ye teeno cheeze ek hi hai even if you read the options carefully you can answer such type of questions so oriented locomotor movements of इन रेस्पॉन्स टू लाइट इज तो लाइट के रिलेटेड हमने मूवमेंट्स पढ़े थे सो जैसे ही एक लाइट एक ओरिएंटेशन में आती है तो थोड़ा सा जो लोकोमोट करते हैं उस टर्म को क्या कहते हैं वी कॉल दैट टर्म एज फोटो टैक्सिस ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ द इको सिस्टम इन द फॉलोइंग इज इनमें से कौन सी कंपोनेंट है जो ए बायोटिक है ऑर्गेनिज्म पॉपुलेशन एनर्जी और कम्युनिटी ए बायोटिक फैक्टर्स आर बेसिकली योर टेम्परेचर सनलाइट एंड ऑल दोज नेचुरल रिसोर्स दैट यू गेट सो इट इज योर एनर्जी दैट इज ए बायोटिक तो ऑर्गेनिज्म पॉपुलेशन कम्युनिटी ये सब क्या है ये सब बेसिकली मेरे इकोलॉजिकल हयात की में आते हैं जिनमें देर इज एवरीथिंग इज बायोटिक दैट मीन्स एवरीथिंग इज कम्प्राइज ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म so i cannot classify any of these three into the uh, abiotic ones fine so biorhythms are mostly under the influence of temperature light pressure water availability biorhythms is always will be an influence of the light so light ke paas ek property hoti hai ki wo hamare biological clock ko uh, influence kar sakte hai the uh, 24 hour uh, you know uh, the ट्वेंटी फोर आर रिदम को मेंटेन करते हैं ठीक है तो ये सारे बायो रिदम्स को हम हमेशा लाइट से लिंक करेंगे लाइट इज बेसिकली योर इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द सनलाइट ठीक है तो जैसे मॉर्निंग में कम कम सनलाइट होती है इनडायरेक्ट सनलाइट होती है मून में डायरेक्ट सनलाइट होती है
so moving forward cold blooded urethermal organisms urethermal kya the yani ki jo ek narrow range of temperature bhi uh, sorry urethermal a basically what can uh, uh, which will adapt to a large range of temperature theek hai inka jo range hota hai wo bahut high hoti hai coral animals lizards birds mammals so the answer is your lizards the largest ecosystem among the following is lake sea biosphere desert very easy question undoubtedly the largest is your biosphere the functional role of an organism in a bio uh, biotic community is so uh, again the same question now it is asked as a functional role matlab us organism ka us uh, environment mein kya role hai all right so it is your ecological niche ठीक है, so it is also linked to profession. ये दो terms आप niche के related याद रखें, ठीक है? Structural components of an ecosystem are abiotic factors, flow of energy, biotic factors one and three. The structural components of the ecosystem it is your abiotic and the biotic factors. एबायोटिक एंड बायोटिक फैक्टर्स मिलके आपका इकोसिस्टम कंप्राइज करता है द स्पेसिफिक डे लेंथ व्हिच इज एसेंशियल फॉर द इनिशिएशन ऑफ सीजनल इवेंट्स इज कॉल्ड ठीक है हाउ मच व्हाट इज दैट स्पेसिफिक दिस इज अगेन अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ योर अ क्रिटिकल फोटो पीरियड क्रिटिकल फोटो पीरियड नाम से ही देखिए क्रिटिकल मतलब कितना एसेंशियल जितना भी हमें चाहिए एसेंशियल और आई कैन सी दी मिनिमल वैल्यू ठीक है ऑफ फोटो पीरियड फोटो पीरियड रेफर्स टू माय लाइट और राइट कितने टाइम तक मुझे ये लाइट चाहिए सो स्पेसिफिक डे लेंथ व्हिच इज एसेंशियल तो एक डे में कितने लेंथ तक मुझे आई रिक्वायर दिस इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट फॉर वॉट to initiate all these seasonal events all right initiate basically start rainforest hamesha kaun se region mein paaye jaate hain temperate tropical arctic or antarctic so uh, sabse zyada yahan pe precipitation kahan hoti hai tropical mein so rainforest matlab jahan pe sabse high precipitation ho that is your tropical region temperate basically lies between the cold and the tropical arctic and antarctic dono hi ekdam extreme cold climate hota hai non directional movement in response to the light intensity is called matlab uh, light ke against move karne ko hum kya kehte hain we call it as photokinesis theek hai production of Cold light is called again uh, taken up from as it is from the definition. It is called as bioluminescence. So you can see that uh, some like uh, jellyfish and the uh, jugnu, uh, what the uh, fireflies, they are they all are uh, they have the property of bioluminescence. ठीक है ये उनके एक defense mechanism भी होती है and uh, this property is referred as cold light. the life influencing phenomenon in the dark habitat which provides intra specific communications is theek hai to kaun sa phenomenon hai jo dark habitat mein intra specific yani ki same species ke communication ko uh, highlight karta hai it is the bioluminescence jaise ki maine kaha tha ye ek defense mechanism hai theek hai to alert the intra matlab alert the same species theek hai intra yani ki same species so they alert with the help of the light to the other species organisms which can tolerate wide fluctuations of temperature it is your urethermal stenothermal yani ki narrow range of temperature haline to salt se associated hota hai fine just a moment the rate of chemical reaction double with 
every 10 degree Celsius raise in temperature up to a certain level according to Bantoff, Bergman's, Bloggers or Jordan's. You must have studied this in chemistry and we have discussed it in the lecture also. So, uh, kya hota hai ki as you raise uh, 10 degrees Celsius, your metabolic rate or your rate of chemical reaction doubles. Okay, so we call it Van Toff's rule. So, this was given by the scientist Van Toff. Freshwater fishes are urihaline and stenothermal, urihaline and urethermal, stenohaline and stenothermal, stenohaline and urethermal. So, they will basically come under stenohaline and also stenothermal. That means they have a very narrow range of both, uh, narrow range for both your temperature and your salinity. Fine. Sorry. Your temperature and salinity. The temperature at, at which the organism's life activities are maximum is called maximum temperature, minimum temperature, optimum temperature or biokinetic zone. Optimum is the right word that is perfectly suited for all the uh, metabolic and any activity for an uh, organism to carry out. Hibernation and estivation are common in. They are very much common in the po poikilothermal animals that means your cold blooded Animals. Okay? So, we generally see in all the cold regions, hain, they basically go into hibernation, uh, hibernation or estivation whenever the climatic conditions is not favorable. Well developed glomerular kidney is present in freshwater fishes, marine bony fishes, use, uh, estuarian fishes, marine cartilaginous fish, fishes. So, uh, this uh, well-developed glomerular kidney is, is needed for uh, freshwater uh, fishes because they need to regulate their salt concentration. Okay? <coughs> Chloride cells on gill epithelium of freshwater fishes help in elimination of salts, absorption of salts, absorption of water, elimination of water. Uh, freshwater may on the ape ek, uh, Chloride uh, cells are in the gill region with you, so that maximum salt absorb kar sake. So, fresh water mein kya hota hai? That in fresh water, the concentration of salts in uh, the fresh water is very low. Alright? So, these uh, fishes need to maintain the uh, salt concentration. Okay? So, up salt concentration maintain karne ke liye, jo chloride cells hote, they specially are designed in such a way ki wo salt ko absorb kar sa. Fine. End osmosis is the main problem in freshwater, marine, terrestrial or eustarian organisms. So, end osmosis is the main problem in Freshwater organisms. Freshwater में क्या होता है? End osmosis यानी कि जो water है वो fish के body के अंदर आ जाती है and that becomes a problem. Which one of the following is partially a thermoregulator? Camel, uh, spendulum punctatum, uh, uh, dipodomius or a chameleon. A partial thermoregulator is your camel. So, camel has the ability to adjust its uh, temperature partially. Uh, they will store uh, water uh, in their, basically in their humps. Fine. Blubber acts as an insulator in. Blubber is a thick layer of fat. Okay, uh, seals mein hota hai and ye thick layer of fat will act as an insulator. Okay. Homeotherms living in cold region are generally Large bodied with less surface area, large bodied with more surface area, small bodied with less surface area, small bodied with less surface area. Uh, okay, I guess the third and the fourth option is same. But anyways, uh, homeotherms are both in the cold region, especially living in the cold region. They should have a large body with less surface area because they want to minimize, to okay, minimize the heat loss from the body because they live in the cold region, so they need to keep themselves warm. So, heat loss from the body should be minimal. And how will this surface area come? So, heat loss will come. 
the freshwater sponges died over the unfavorable conditions of summer by producing sexual uh, sexual reproductive bodies gemmules chloride cells or contractile vacuoles so uh, freshwater sponges unfavorable conditions ko kaise ye karte they form gemmules theek hai gemmules kya karte hai unfavorable conditions ko dodge karne mein kafi help karte all the deer of the species axis axis in a forest constitute the ठीक है तो अभी एक पर्टिकुलर स्पीशीज के बारे में दिया हुआ है ठीक है स्पीशीज कौन सा है दिस इज माय स्पीशीज इन अ फॉरेस्ट सो अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस इज और अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस इज गिवन एंड अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम राइट इन अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम इन अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस तो ये एग्जैक्टली exactly फिट करता है मेरे पॉपुलेशन के डेफिनेशन को सो इट इज माय एक्सिस एक्सिस दैट मींस अ स्पीशीज ऑफ अ डियर ठीक है that is living in a forest right according to allen's rule extremities and surface area of animals living in warmer regions are respectively warmer regions mein surface area jo hai wo zyada hona chahiye so it should be long and low so uh, in law uh, so according to allen's rule the surface area should uh, sorry extremity should be long and the surface area should be more fine ha thank you nitesh now coming to uh, estuarian fishes so uh, what is estuarian fishes are they eurihaline and stenothermal eurihaline and eurythermal stenohaline and uh, stenothermal or stenohaline and eurythermal so uh, these estuarian fishes basically are your eurihaline and stenothermal what do i mean stenothermal yani ki they have a narrow range for the temperature theek hai matlab they can tolerate only a very specific temperature and the range of tolerance is very much narrow but they are eurihaline what do i mean by eurihaline that means a broad range of uh, salinity to go hot range for salinity theek hai So these two terms should be there. in camels fats is stored in subcutaneous throughout the body their hump kidney heart very easy in camels fats are stored in their hump which one of the following depends on uh, its metabolic water for its water requirements is it the camel seagull kangaroo rat or your turtles तो मेटाबॉलिक वाटर किसको लगता है मेटाबॉलिक वाटर इज यूज बेसिकली बाय योर कैंग्रो रैट्स ठीक है ये क्या करता है कि अपने फैट को बेसिकली ऑक्सीडाइज करता है बिकॉज यू नो इट हैज टू मीट द वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट सो इट शुड प्रिवेंट द वाटर लॉस फ्रॉम द बॉडी वेरी गुड भरत heat production and heat loss in the homeothermic animals in hot climate are respectively theek hai to a hot climate diya hai to hot climate mein uh, the heat loss should definitely be very minimum all right and uh, heat production uh, so the heat loss should be more oh, yes yes sorry so heat should be produced less and the heat loss should be maximum all right because the temperature is already hot so you need to lose a lot of uh, heat from the body so that uh, you can maintain the temperature so your heat production should be low and your heat loss should be more fine foxes with larger ear lobes are generally found in agar ear lobes large hai to kya hota hai it has a larger surface area that means more heat loss मोर हीट लॉस हमें किन जगह पे चाहिए होगा वी विल यूज इट इन डेजर्ट बिकॉज डेजर्ट द टेम्परेचर इज हॉट सो यू नीड टू लूज अ लॉट ऑफ हीट फ्रॉम द बॉडी मोस्ट ऑफ द डेजर्ट एनिमल्स आर यूरिकोटेलिक विद हाइपोटोनिक यूरिंग यूरियोटेलिक विद हाइपोटोनिक यूरिंग एमोनोटेलिक विद हाइपोटोनिक यूरिंग और एमोनोटेलिक विद हाइपरटोनिक यूरिंग सो मोस्ट ऑफ द डेजर्ट एनिमल्स आर यूरिटेलिक विद हाइपोटोनिक यूरिंग because uh, they have to minimize their water loss 
ठीक है सो ओनली द सॉल्ट शुड बी रेगुलेटेड एंड दे नीड टू प्रिजर्व दी वॉटर सो हाईली कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ यूरिन होती है एंड यस अगेन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज हाइपर टोनोफिक सॉल्ट एंड लेस वॉटर बायोलॉजिकल रिस्पॉन्स टू चेंज इन proportions of light and darkness in a 24 hour daily cycle is called the 24 hour daily cycle uh, light per depend karti hai is is a biological clock so what do i uh, related with i related with my photo periodism theek hai so it is basically <coughs> all the responses sorry so this is basically all the responses uh, that will be in a change in proportion of your light biotic communities in large area living in a, in a particular climatic condition together will constitute of again a very important definition it consist of a bio fine uh, at a temperature of 15 degree celsius the rate of metabolism in a fish was noted to be x units very important question so at temperature 35 yeah the rate of metabolism in the fish would be now you need to be familiar with the van de hoff rule all right van de hoff rule aapko pata hona chahiye what does it say that in every 10 degree uh, increase your metabolic rate metabolic rate will double ठीक है तो एवरी टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस में क्या होगा मेरा मेटाबॉलिक रेट डबल होगा यहाँ पे कितना डिफरेंस है फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस तो मेरा कितना इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर सो आई इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस सो इफ इन टेन डिग्री दर इज टू एक्स दैट मीन्स माई मेटाबॉलिक रेट डबल सो इन फॉर ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस माई metabolic rate should be 2 times that of 10 theek hai 2 into 2x all right so i write it here so it should be 2 to 2x so that will be 4 times my original metabolic rate theek hai yahan pe metabolic original rate ko x diya hua hai so i hope this is clear x 2x 3x and 4 see it is 4x क्योंकि 20 डिग्री इंक्रीज है तो बैंक ऑफ रूल के हिसाब से फॉर एवरी 10 डिग्री द मेटाबॉलिक रेट डबल सो फॉर 20 डिग्री इट विल बी फोर टाइम्स एन एसोसिएशन इन बिच वन ऑर्गेनिज्म इज बेनिफिटेड एंड द अदर इज अनफेक्टेड इज कॉल्ड ठीक है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड कमेंसलिज्म अगेन डेफिनेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एक ऑर्गेनिज्म को क्या हो रहा है बेनिफिट हो रहा है and the other organism is neither harmed nor uh, benefited so such a relationship is commensalism theek hai apne sare uh, inke definitions aane chahiye so competition and predation mein generally both are uh, they both are uh, negatively affected that means both of them are harmed all right or in predation one can be positive and one can be negative and in annelism one is uh, affected and the other is neutral that means neither harm, uh, harmed or affected the association between two species in which both are benefited is called again a very important question jisme dono species ko benefit hota such a relationship is mutualism where both the species are benefited try to learn them with the help of symbols it will be very much useful ट्री क्या बेसिकली क्या होता है वैस उन अदर प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड दे आर एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉमेंसलिज्म I hope I'm connected back and I'm 
Thank you, Bharat. Fine. So we were discussing the question about the relationship between clownfish that lives among the tentacles of the sea animal. And the sea animal is an example for. So ye sea animal is an example of commensalism. So is the kya hota hai? The clownfish is basically benefited by the tentacles of the sea animal. So it is saved from predators. In the association between clownfish and sea animal, clownfish is protected from the predators of uh, that, so from the predators by sea animal because it has tentacles of it. Some barnacles which grow on the back of the whale. Okay, thank you, Bharat. So, some barnacles which grow. I hope I'm uh, again audible. I'm sorry, there are some issues. So this associ association where both are uh, benefited, it is called as mutualism, right? So monarch butterfly is distasteful to its predators because of the special chemicals in its body. So this is basically a defense mechanism. Tasteful, yani ki bahut, uh, monarch butterfly ki jo taste hoti hai, that becomes uh, that becomes very distasteful to the predators. So they do not uh, prefer predating or eating them. Eating them. So ye uh, kaise hota hai? They are acquired. Uh, ye distasteful taste kahan se aati hai? To jab ye apne larval stage mein hote, they feed or eat a poisonous weed. And this poisonous weed will give them the distasteful taste. So this is basically used as a defense mechanism. Rainivores are a kind of parasite, predators, competitors or commensals. So rainivores is a type of predators which will predate your seeds. Which of the following is not an adaption to parasitism? Presence of adhesive organs, loss of sense organs, loss of digestive system, poor development of reproductive system. So, uh, in this concept, adaptation is not to defend or to overcome parasitism. Okay? So, uh, adhesive organs are definitely hai. loss of sense organs in uh, some cases uh, are not going to be able to do This is the poor development of reproductive system. This is not an adaptation to parasitism. Right? The association between egrets and cattle is, this is called as commensalism. Okay, this is egret and cattle. Uh, is jo cattle jo hai, it, is, it is neutral. Okay, it, is, it is neither benefited nor harmed. And these egrets are benefited because cattle's ke, uh, around jo hai na, chote -chote insects. Hai. And this uh, when this cattle move their tails, they uh, make the insects fly away. This egrets uh, find their bait or the food. So this is an example of commensalism. I hope for <coughs> this 50 to 60 MCQs that I have discussed will be beneficial for, uh, for your need. Uh, I also hope uh, if you face any problem, you can go and watch uh, this lecture. I have uh, explained this entire chapter in one shot. You can go and watch that video about organism and population. And let me again take you quickly on Academy. So on, with an Academy, you can crack any entrance exam you wish to crack. And now we have come up with a feature of iconic subscription. What do I mean that, by that? So you will be benefited with an personal mentor. Okay? 
तो ये पर्सनल मेंटर आपको आपके कस्टमाइज होगा आपके लिए आपके वीकनेस एंड स्ट्रेंथ के हिसाब से वी विल हेल्प यू ऑल टू स्ट्रेटेजाइज एंड वी विल रिसॉल्व योर प्रॉब्लम्स देन यू विल हैव लाइव डाउट क्लियरिंग सॉल्यूशंस आपका हर एक डाउट आप uh, आप क्लियर कर सकते हैं पर्सनली एंड यू विल गेट एन पेरेंटल कनेक्ट कि आपके सारे स्ट्रेटजीज uh, आपके परफॉर्मेंसेस सब डिस्कस uh, uh, करेंगे एंड इट विल you know the learner the parent and the educator will have a connect and you will get all the benefits of plus and plus se aapko kya benefits milte hai plus se aapko daily live classes uh, de sakte jo bahut interactive hote hai you will get access to daily uh, test and quizzes which is integral for self evolution uh, you will have access to all the contents and these are very structured courses they are in line with your syllabus and it will offer you complete syllabus coverage so agar aap mera code bhi use karte ho to aapko physics chemistry bio jo bhi neat ke liye required hai wo sab aapko available honge and you will get unlimited access to all the contents aap kisi bhi device se login karna every day you will have your daily live classes scheduled and you will be on board with the top educators of india we offer you a very comprehensive syllabus and all you need to do is download the un academy app and get the subscription and you can connect with us directly through the telegram application ye sare jo information hai description box mein niche available hai so a uh, plus an iconic mein aapko kya kya milega you will be on board with the top educators you will have interactive live classes you will have access to live test quizzes you will uh, get access to the creative corner but in iconic what are the special features or uh, you will have a personal mentor who uh, help you to strategize and guide you personally you will engage in doubt clearing uh, sessions of uh, and which all any doubt you have it will be clear to you personally you will have a parental connect and uh, you will have a study planner too strategize and help it will help you to crack the examination whatever you wish to crack so uh now these are the various duration along with the structures of your plus so i recommend you the most the 12 month plan it is very economical it comes for just 15000 rupees and if you use my code my code is janani so if you use my code janani right that is my name you will get an extra 10% discount all right so now you will avail it only uh, 13500 rupees and similarly for iconic when you use my code uh, iconic subscription is 28000 rupees and when you use my code that is janani you can avail it in just 25200 so this will be very very beneficial to crack your examinations thank you so much please do like share and subscribe the video and you can join us for all the updates in the telegram this is my code please uh, uh, for, don't forget to use it and also hit the bell icon for more notifications thank you so much i hope to see you all soon again tomorrow at the same timing thank you